Okay, so a slightly different variation to the deadlift and we're going to be using the trap bar. Now, the good thing about this, this particular bar is it's heavy on its own. So the amount of weight that you've got to put on is quite light. So it's not really very good for your ego, but it's great to get the technique and the form right. Because of the position you're in, you're almost forced to do this exercise right. So personally, I really, really like this one. I like it to get my form right. When I'm really trying to get that mind to muscle connection, this would be the bar that I use for deadlifts. I know it's not what people want to hear because some people like to be in the, to the squat rack and, or the, the, the rack and pull big weights. I really like this bar, so I'm going to show you this now. So this is the trap bar deadlift. If you note the position that I start in, I'm sat in the position that I'm going to start the deadlift from. What I'm not going to do is what a lot of people do in the mistake that they make is to go like that and then to pick that bar up. This would put me in a really bad position which could potentially injure my back. So to get this down, we're going to start like we do with a house. Foundations are correct. Feet are shoulder width apart. My glutes are dropped down. My head's up to the sky. First thing I'm going to do is throw my legs and up, chest to the sky, bend my back back over again. As the bar gets below my knees, I'm going to take my legs down and repeat that process. And every rep, the form that I take is by pushing the initial through my legs before my back comes into play. And I'm going to push my chest to the sky just to get that correct posture. And if you can see from the side, the position that this puts me in is perfect. Everyone, it's called a deadlift for a reason. It's not got no momentum to it. It's a dead start and a dead finish every time. <laughs> 